Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd do a video for you all because of the whole situation with the COVID-19. Um, obviously everyone's stuck at home and I never really have any time to do videos. Yeah, I thought I couldn't sit at home just doing nothing and you guys on my Instagram are always asking, can I do a video? Can I tell you what I've been up to? What I eat? I get asked questions all the time and I really wish I had time to like reply to you all. Um, so I thought that I'd do a little kind of tell you everything basically in a video. Um, so with what I do for a living, obviously I've modeled for 13 years. Um, and I do my Instagram as well. I started my fashion diaries about five years ago. Um, and the reason I did that was purely my love for clothes and fashion and shoes and bags, which you can probably see from here. So I've just really built my collection over a period of time. Um, I don't want you guys to think, oh my God, like she's showing off, that is so not me. Like I don't like to show off to anyone. Um, I kind of just want to inspire girls to work hard and then you can get what you want. Like everything I've bought, my house, everything here, like I've done it all myself. Um, I've never turned to my parents, which I don't knock anyone for, but I kind of just wanted to do it myself. So I think if you really do have a drive and you have aspirations and you know what you want, you can make it happen. Um, and I'm always getting messages from mums and girls on my Instagram. If you don't know what my Instagram is, it is Amy No Fashion Diaries. Just in case any of you on YouTube don't follow it, go follow it now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to like share with you all my life and everything basically and I've got time to do videos. So with what I do, I do travel often. So with what's happening at the moment with the virus, it's absolutely awful and I know health always comes first. Um, but it has been quite a knock on effect on me. Um, obviously I'm still working with brands. I'm having to work in locations that are completely safe. Um, the team I'm working with, I'm working with them the same and we're checking that we're all feeling healthy. Um, but I don't wanna stop working. Um, I have such a drive for what I do and I'm so passionate and the thought of not being able to go out and shoot pretty much kills me. I did have a little meltdown the other day. <laughs> Um, not, it's not about the money even, it's like, it's more that I love what I do and I'm a creative and sitting around just doesn't, it doesn't work well for me. <laughs> if anyone who knows me, I'm like a hundred miles an hour. I don't like to sit and relax. Um, I just love being like on the go. I have just been to the Maldives to shoot the Little Mistress collection though that I've done. Um, that was one of my friends, Anna Fowler. She's an amazing photographer. We went out there. Um, we were there for four days and we stayed at Jolie, which is a beautiful resort. So I worked really hard with the team to put together pieces that there was something for everyone. Um, girls of all shapes and sizes. Obviously I know people say to me, oh, you're like naturally slim. Um, what do you do to work out? And if I'm honest, I don't do loads. Like I do my ab exercise. But I had a thing when I was growing up that I was too small. People used to think like, I didn't eat and I was just naturally small. So I understand that people are all built differently. Um, so that's why in my collection I've, I've made things like skirts, two piece sets for the more curvy girls. And sometimes I put two piece sets on and I'm like, oh, I'm so straight up and down. They don't look good on me. Whereas a girl with curves like just really works it and makes two piece sets look good. Um, I've done dresses, I've done maxi dresses. I've done a bit of everything. So I really hope you're all gonna love it. Um, and at the same time, I've also got my Anne Louise boutique collection going live. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you um, in the description, the links to the websites to Little Mistress. The collections aren't live yet, but I'll share the links to the website so you can see the brands. Um, and then hopefully I'm gonna be doing another collection as well with Sheen. So Sheen I work with pretty much twice a week, sometimes three times a week. I do all of their modeling online um, and it's been going really well. They've, they're they really happy and they've basically said that they want me to do um, my own collection, which is really exciting because what I love is with these collections that I'm doing and I don't wanna just do them with anyone, um, but they're brands that I've modeled with for a long time and then they kind of get to know me and they're like, Amy, we love your style. We love what you show on Instagram to girls. And so then I can put together my own little edit of pieces that I love and pieces that I've designed with the teams to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, I feel very fortunate that I can do that because it was pretty much a dream of mine. So when, first of all, Little Mitch just approached me about it, I was like, oh my God. And then the billboards were all on the underground. And I remember, I even feel emotional about it now. <laughs> um, but I remember when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, like, that was my dream and that was my goal. Um, and then I'm potentially gonna do my Sheen one in Venice. I love Venice. 
Um, so that one's going to be completely different with the collection that I'm doing as well. They are all different. They kind of share a little bit of each part of my style. Like my style can vary. You can see on Instagram, I can go a bit more chic, I can go for suits, then I can go girly. And I think that's what people love. And that's why I'm always getting messages. People are like, you don't have the same style. And I like to be someone different. So when I can be like a different person each day, like if I want to wear jeans and a hoodie and trainers, that's a different Amy. Um, and I think that comes down to modeling as well. Cause I think when you're modeling, like you are kind of a different person when you're in a different outfit, it's like acting. So if I go and do a sports shoot, I'm kind of there as like the sports model. So I have to get into the frame of mind of being like a gym girl and like, I don't know, someone who does yoga. Whereas then if I can go in, do like suits and a bit more chic, a bit more boyish, then you have to get into that vibe. So there is more to modeling than people think. Um, I think you have to kind of adapt the situation and the clothes that you're wearing um, and make that work. But yeah, with me, I think that's why I have so many different styles. That stems down to the years of modeling. Um, and I just like dressing up basically. I loved it as a kid as well. I think it's nice to just be able to like wear different things. Um, I just love clothes, basically. <laughs> That's why I have my fashion diaries, because I just love clothes. Um, so what I'll do now is just show you guys a little bit of my bag and shoe collection, because I know you guys have been wanting to see it. Um, it's not huge, because I've been having regular clear outs, which is not like me. I think when I lived in my previous flat, if you looked at my other video, I was just, I had clutter everywhere. <laughs> and now I'm really minimal, like I only like to keep exclusive nice pieces that I know I'm gonna wear like regularly. Cause otherwise it's just, you don't know what to wear every day. Um, so I like to go to my wardrobe and know what I've got um, to try and keep it minimal. I know when I put that on my story on Instagram, everyone's like minimal, Amy. <laughs> and I'm probably not the most minimal, but you have to remember that this is my job and I love dressing up, um, I do it for a living. So yeah, don't blame me. But yeah, I'll show you around now. So I will show you guys around. This is some of my dressing room here. As you can see, like my stuff is, I haven't got loads. I used to have way more. You guys are probably thinking, oh my God, you're crazy. Like you have so much. But again, you have to remember that this is my job. Um, so I do tend to spend a lot of my modeling money on clothes. And that's one of the reasons I actually started my fashion diaries because with my job as a model, I was spending all my money on clothes. I was just obsessed. So I thought, why not tie the two in? Um, so I do have a thing for Le Bouton. I love their shoes. There's a few of my favorites here. I love these ones. These are really lovely. So I do tend to buy a lot of my pieces um, that are designer, because I don't want you guys to think like I'm showing off all my designer pieces. I do tend to buy 90% of them pre-owned um or second hand so i'll share that in the description for you um i'll recommend places that i buy all my pieces like hardly ever worn i just got these alaya um heels they're like 70 percent off the normal price and okay they're kind of worn but as you can see pretty much they've only been worn like once um and you save like 70 percent, so it makes such a difference and then my valentina rock says i've had them for four or five years now <laughs> I love them. Uh, and here I've got my Gucci wedges. So I did actually buy those brand new though. I got those in Selfridges in the summer. I thought I'd treat myself. And then these are the supermodel shoe, the Jimmy Choo ones, which my boyfriend got me kindly for my birthday. And these Jimmy Choo off-whites I got on Depop. So I love going on Depop. And they were 6% off the normal price. So I saved there. Um, a bit of Gucci here. Love these ones. Some people hate these loafers, but I love them. <laughs> a bit of pink. Um, and I've got these ones. These are ones a bit more worn now, but I love the white ones. Um, and then down here, I've got my bike boots. I've got my Dior ones. These are the Coupos. Um, and then these Jimmy Choo ones. Again, I got those secondhand. And then here, these are some of my favorite trainers. These are my Chanel ones. I really love these ones, actually. Um, and then what else have I got? Oh, these Alexander McQueen ones, very cool. I love having a sneaker. And then here I've got my YSL ones. These are the wedges. They're perfect for wearing like, when I go to like pool parties, not that I do that often, <laughs> uh, for the beach. Um, well, kind of not for the beach, more like Galan Beach. 
So now I thought I'd share some of my bags with you all. So this is my faithful Louis Vuitton bag. I've had this for quite a while now. It's perfect for when you're traveling. Um, it's just a really useful bag to have. And then here I've got my Aspinall of London trunks. I love them. The Pegasus one was my favorite. It's um, an Emma Shipley design. Um, I really love like the Pegasus. It's really cool. Um, I've had that one. You've probably seen that in all of my videos. I've had that one for like three or four years. <laughs> um, so I love the trunks. They're really cute for in the summer if you're going to like the polo or a wedding. They're really chic. So I'll add some of those in my description as well for you all. Um, they've got quite a few at the moment. And then I really love their Lottie bags as well. So I've had this red velvet one for quite a while. The Lottie bags are just really useful. And then here I've got my personalised Louis Vuitton. This is actually vintage from a brand in Las Vegas. Um, so that's really cool, that one. And then here I've got the Louis Vuitton boots, which everyone really loves these. I think they're called the Desert Boot. Um, this um, Chanel is vintage from Upes. Um, I've actually shared a video on it before, but I find that when you wear vintage, you kind of pretty much know that no one else is gonna have the same bag as you. I think when I bought this Gucci here, um, everyone then started wearing it and I was like, oh God, I really like to be unique. And when everyone starts wearing the same thing, I'm like, I don't want it anymore. Um, and I've got my YSL here, this one. I got at Bista Village, I love Bista and I love buying designer pieces from there because you get such good discounts. And then the Dior saddlebag. And I've got a few more trunks, more Aspinall down here, a vintage Chanel bag here as well. It's a bit dirty now, but this is from Moonstone Vintage in LA. Um, they send everything out to you. So that's actually one of my faves. I love it. It's just a bit, a bit battered now. <laughs> I'm a little bit naughty I'm a little bit too consumed But every part of my body Is telling me to run away from you Come a little bit closer Yeah, yeah Come a little bit closer Yeah You're a little bit crazy It's been days but you never change What's love got to do with it? Another thing I'll just share with you all in this video are a few of my makeup faves. So I love the Flawless Fusion. This concealer is my favourite. I find that some of the under eye concealers can be quite dry. Um, and when you put them on, they kind of just stick. And they, especially if you've got dry skin, it really doesn't look good. And I've tried so many, especially with my job as a model, makeup artist tries so many different um, under eye concealers on me and I know what works. This is the one. I can't be without it. So it's the Flawless Fusion. But I'll just show you actually when I put it on. You don't have to put a lot on, but a lot of people actually put foundation under the eyes, which I'm not a fan of. And I don't like putting too light a colour under my eyes. So then you've got white eyes and the rest is like orange. But you can probably see there, it just like really highlights the eye, but it is, it blends really well. Um, and the colour I wear is 2W. Um, but obviously you can go in and get colour matched or look online. But yeah, you can probably see there, it's like really brightened up my eyes. So that's one of my favourite concealers. Um, another thing I'm asked about a lot is my favourite foundation. Uh, not being paid to tell you guys this, but Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favourites. I was lucky enough to do a video with Sophia recently and she recommended this to me, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, it's amazing. Like, I think when you wear foundation, I don't like to wear things that are too cakey. And you know when you put it on, you feel like you've got a lot of foundation on, you feel like your skin can't breathe. This is like wearing a tinted moisturiser, but just with a bit more coverage. I have got it on now. Um, and the colour I've got here is four, but I do actually, as advised by Sophia actually, I uh, mix four and six. So just blend it. And I always have like a round brush. I think when you have flat brushes with foundation, first of all, you look like you're painting your face, um, but it's kind of streaky. Whereas if it's like a round brush, you can kind of blend. Um, so don't worry, makeup videos are coming soon. I just thought I'd share three of my favorite makeup pieces that are my faves at the moment. And then lastly, bronzer. I can't be without a bronzer. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. First of all, the packaging is amazing. I really love, um, I love all her packaging actually. Um, but the one I use is the medium to dark. And when I tell makeup artists, sometimes they're like, oh, why are you wearing the darker one? Cause like, I'm naturally quite pale. Obviously I've been away recently. 
um, but I just love this shade here. It's like a bit more orangey, but I wear it on my cheekbone. So I'll show you guys now. So all I do is literally, just to kind of make the cheekbones a bit more defined, you can probably see. Yeah, you can see there. It really just like highlights there. And I tend to put highlighter, not even highlighter, <laughs> it's like bronzer. I tend to put it here at the top and some might, people might think, oh, why are you doing that? But I just think that's where the, the sun would actually naturally hit you anyway. Um, I'll just put it there. <laughs> there. So you can see like it just really like, can you see that? It really highlights the cheekbone. Um, so this is one of my favourites as well. I'll add it in the description because I'm always getting messages on Instagram. What's your favourite bronzer? What's your favourite foundation and concealer? So here you go. I've told you all. Um, let me know anything else you want to know as well about my makeup routine. Um, so yeah, on a lot of shoots um, now, I do sometimes tend to do my own makeup, which some people might think that's crazy. Um, but I think as I've modelled for so long, like I've watched makeup artists do my makeup and I kind of know my face. And I think you know your face better than anyone. Um, I've got my favourite makeup artists from doing like big campaigns that I'll do, get them to come and do my makeup. But if I'm shooting e-com, um, Sometimes I'll be like, I'll do my own and brands love it because they're like, oh, well, it saves us money. I think for me, hair, and you can see I play with my hair all the time. And I have got a few tape extensions in at the moment. Um, but hair for me changes my whole look. Like, I don't know, even when I put my hair like up, I just look like a different person. <laughs> well, not a different person, but it just gives me a completely different look. But yeah, I might end the video there. Um, I know it's a bit short and sweet, but I just thought I'd check up on you all. Hope you're all doing okay at home. Um, I'm gonna, I've got basically a few videos that I am gonna film. So my Little Mistress collection, I'm gonna do a little video, like a lookbook in my dressing room. I probably won't launch that though for a few weeks, just in case it does end up going live end of April. Um, or I might do a few sneak peeks of it. And then I'm gonna do my ab one because loads of people have been asking me about my abs. Um, I don't really go to the gym that often, well, at all, and don't hate me for that, but um, I don't know, I just, I've never really gone to the gym, I do things at home, so I do things on YouTube, and I thought that maybe I'd do my own, a lot of people have asked me, and I think it's time that I do sit down, I'm an ambassador for Ala Yoga as well, um, I love their gym wear, so I thought maybe I could get in their gym wear, I can do a bit of a yoga video, a bit of an ab video for you all, um, I really love doing the videos actually, um, so I do want to do them more because obviously with videos you get to know someone like face to face rather than just seeing this edited picture of someone who looks perfect, which everyone does on Instagram, I know, but it's actually nice to get to know someone. I think you can tell a lot from like a video and what someone's like, um, but yeah, I'll end the video there. Comment below in the description um, anything you want to see, anything you want me to do video wise. Um, I'm going to have a bit of time off, so I will have time to do them. Have a good day guys and stay safe and wash your hands. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching.